Hello and welcome back to Mindspans. I'm Craig and thank you for joining me today. We're in beautiful Central Park, New York City, and uh, it's a lovely Saturday. And I'm going to continue my discussion about freeing your mind. And we've talked a lot about how we bring constructs of our physical or perceived physical world into our visualization, our meditations, whether that be gravity or other things. And by freeing our mind from these constructs, when we go into our internal journey, it gives us a deeper palette to work with and, uh, and gives us opportunities we, we would not normally have to, to change the way we explore our vision of who we are and how we fit into the world around us. So today I want to talk about uh, skills. Uh, we all have sort of skills, whether we play an instrument or we play sports or just walking or running or whatever we do. And we don't need to necessarily take our vision of our skills into our meditations. And, as, and I'm going to give you a couple of really great exercises. And just so you know, athletes, I trained as a, a, a slalom ski racer. I wasn't that good, to be honest with you. But we did a lot of visualization exercises, and it did help my times dramatically. And many, many athletes, most professional athletes, uh, use these kinds of exercises to advance uh, their skill sets. and. Um, so we'll do a couple of really quick ones and then some stuff you can actually do live. Uh, and uh, I think you're gonna find it really helpful and, and really fun. And again, it's all about elevating our life experience. So before we start, uh, let's take a really deep breath in uh, through our nose. And what I want you to do is try to focus on the breath coming from deep within your belly and then moving up your spine through to your head and while you stretch to the sky and just allow a smile to wash across your face hold it and then breathe out through your mouth all right relax your shoulders relax your jaw a little bit and um, we have the rollerbladers and the skaters and so it's uh, a different set of background noises than my normal meditations, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so one of the things that we do is, you know, I don't, I'm not like a sprinter, but I can run okay. But in my mind, I can run really fast if I want. I can be light. I don't have to have gravity or as much gravity. I can fly. I can do a lot of things that I can't necessarily do. Uh, in the physical world, or at least I perceive I can. And so we'll get into other visualization type exercises, but for this one, I just want you to pick something, uh, something that you have challenges with, whether maybe it's as simple as, as getting up uh, for, if you're having trouble with your knees, or it could be uh, playing a certain piece in a, uh, with an instrument because um, your fingers just don't move as fast as you'd like them to um, or hitting a golf ball or whatever it may be um, and I want you to quiet yourself down and continue to breathe gently and bring yourself just little by little down into a very quiet space. If you feel any anxiety or tension, just sort of fall back into it and don't fight against it. And if you have distracting thoughts, just allow them to float by. I always try to think of like balloons, like helium balloons, and you and you sort of have them and then you let them go and they, they go up into the sky. And you can watch them and whatnot, but they're just, you're not attached to them. They just sort of move past you and through you. And little by little, and as you're breathing, think about all the air that you're, and the oxygen that you're feeding your whole body with, and continue that movement from your stomach up through to your mind, 
to just feed that oxygen through your whole body and sort of break through any barriers of tension. And as you relax, close your eyes if you like. You don't really have to, but think about that thing. So for me, I'll think about playing a piece or piano or a particular scale or whatever that I always find it very difficult. And, and I, I, at first, what I want you to do is, is visualize doing it the way you do it in the physical world. So if it's running or if it's hitting a golf ball, go through the process of what you perceive yourself to be in the physical world. And then little by little, change that to someone that's amazing that you've seen. Obviously, if you're trying to get better, usually you've seen someone or just release the difficulties. Just wherever, if you're hitting the ball off to the right, just imagine that you hit it perfectly straight every time and that there's no thinking about it. It's just, you're so great at it. And if you're running, you're the fastest person in the world. And if you're playing scales or playing a piece, there's no piece that you can't play. And there's nothing to stop you from this. And it's weird initially, but as like everything that we talk about, as you practice these things, you'll be so surprised at how quickly you break through these barriers that you've set up in your mind as to what you can and can't do. And I, it will translate. It'll translate to the physical world. You will improve. Um, and the reason is, is very physical, is that your neurons, when you do these visualization exercises in the state of meditation or even a state of mindfulness or just being quiet, um, but the deeper you can go, the more you can build neural connections. Um, and it's, they've studied this, the doctors and the hospitals and, and sports trainers, that these types of exercises are almost as good as practicing in real life. Uh, and, and it really does uh, cause uh, the neural connections and the firing of the neurons to operate uh, at a, a massively improved efficiency. So, so practice that. And, and a funny way, uh, a thing that I do, which I've taught my son to do as well, is when you're playing the piano as an example, I mean, you could apply this to a lot of things, not like driving, because it requires closing your eyes. <laughs> But you could do it with golf uh, or baseball or anything and just like to feel what it feels like to just do it perfectly without the stress of thinking about it as you close your eyes and you just play. You know, you just play by feel, not trying to play anything in particular, but just p connect yourself with the instrument, connect yourself with the golf club as if it's one entity and just play and just play rhythmically and play as sound moves up and down and resolving uh, tension uh, in music or in golf, it's just, just swing and hit, the ball and hit the ball, you know, without any thought. And you'll find that those kinds of things help break down uh, the, the barriers of your second guessing your abilities to be successful in a physical task. So, um, so try that, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Uh, th this is something that you should practice for the rest of your life. It's a really, and we're going to do a lot of work, visualization work, because visualization is a whole sort of practice unto itself to get really good at it, and, uh, and it really does help everything else that you might do uh, in your practice. So I wish you a phenomenal day. Please subscribe to my channel, and uh, I really appreciate everyone who's subscribed and comments and supports. and. Uh, that's how uh, these, these videos get out to more and more people and uh, share it with your friends and like the video. And again, you know, I would love to hear how uh, these exercises are either helping you or it doesn't help or you're having challenges or whatever so I can help you. Because uh, I've been doing this for a very, very long time, almost 30 years, and, uh, and I'm here to help. So have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. And be well, be patient with yourself and with everyone around you. And thank you again. Have a good day.